when you get that sloppy toppy, that drippy droppy, that droopy sloppy. When I found that an iced Americano was just espresso on ice, I feel, I, I, everything about coffee, I feel like I'm getting bamboozled. A latte is just espresso. With milk. Milk. What's the difference between a latte and a cappuccino? Nobody knows. Hot. Foam. Cappuccino has foam and latte has no foam? Uh, cappuccino has more foam. It's like a drier foam. Were you a barista? How do you know this? My dad makes cappuccinos like oh, okay. every day. A drier that's foam. Like what, that's what makes my dad like want to like not end it all as a good cappuccino. He's so just... He just, he perfects it at like 2 p.m. He's just like, he does the measurements, weighs it out. It's on some drug dealer shit. He gets kilos of, of coffee beans, but they're green, right? They're, they're not cooked yet. They're not roasted. And then he roasts them. He roasts He them? roasts his own coffee beans and then grinds them up. And then he has like a scale. He weighs it out and he puts it on top and does all that. I'm like, I ain't got time for that. That's Damn retired. Get my ass and let's go. That's retired though. Yeah, no, he's been, but he's been person. doing that. But honestly, there is something about like in the mornings, I'll make a, a nicer coffee. Then the rest of the day, I don't give a fuck how I get caffeine. I like the morning because I know I have a little bit of grace period. It's like yeah. peaceful to make a cup of coffee, do a little pour over, a little. Uh, okay. Watch the squirrels outside, bro. The squirrels out my window has been getting horny lately. But I think squirrels are always horny. How come every place you live, squirrels. the squirrels are bananas? They're I have no horny. squirrels in my place. I think really? I have a few. I have a few squirrels. One, one, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the same one. He's a, an absolute lunatic. Like, if I'm sitting on my stoop reading, flex, I read. Oh, you, uh, huh? What century is it? You just sit on the stoop and read? Yeah, dude. How, what? Yeah. Are you I'm, a war veteran? I'm reading. Did maybe your wife, Esmeralda, leave you 30 years ago? Why do you think I'm reading? Because your wife, Esmeralda, L left, me 30, left yeah, me 30 years ago. Yeah. Um, You don't like reading. I, don't, I just lose attention. I, because I do this shit where I start... On the page, and then I'm halfway through. I'm like, what am I even re huh? Because I'm thinking about something else, and then I got to go back up to the top and start over. That's wasting time. You know, it's a flex book on tape while looking at the book. Wow. Somebody's reading it for you. Well, I think you're a nincompoop if you need that. All if, right. If you need someone to read you the words as you're reading, or okay. it's on some rich shit. All right. It's like P. Diddy can very well cook a meal, or he could have somebody cook it for him and feed him. Does that make him a nincompoop? If he's getting no, well, that's a different thing. If you're getting, if you have like some fucking, if you have Sebastian the chef feeding you the food that you want, God, that's such a a king used to have grapes fed to him. He would sit there, and someone would just yeah, dangle well, I don't grapes. Want, I don't want grapes. I want something else. Great, it's an easy thing to eat. Yeah, but also pick the grapes off and then give it to me. Because then you got eh. yeah, then that's a, you that's a, a bitch stem, move. You get a little stem in it. Yeah, if you have to lean, if you have to lean up to eat, it's a little weird. I want like weird. steak tips in my mouth. Yeah, I want somebody behind me, right here, right. They're behind me, like I have like uh, an extra pair of arms, chicken wing, boom, right there. Ooh, so then you can get the chicken wing because you love them, but also you don't have the fucking barbecue sauce all over hands. Yeah, but then you get to lick their fingers if you want. Weird. Really? Kind of hot. Kind of hot. You ever, you ever put a girl's finger in your mouth? Yeah, uh, yeah. I love it. All over the place. Uh, hold on. Fingers <laughs> everywhere. What do you mean? Ding dong, doorbell. Ding dong is the doorbell of cum. Let me ask you this. All right. Is a shoehorn lube for your foot? I think a shoehorn might be a dildo for your foot. Is it? If no, you leave no, it in there. Because a dildo replaces the, the sense of a penis. So I hear. But it's not like the shoehorn is the foot because a foot is the, is the, is the meat. The I'm talking the dick. The, the, the shoehorn is just kind of like the lube. I understand. So the foot is the penis, the shoe is the shoe vagina. Is, uh, yes. And then you try to lube it in there. The shoehorn might just be the spit. When was the last time you used a shoehorn? 1903? Yes. No, I, I, I don't even know where you see them. You say, like. I, how do you. You need a shoehorn because you have those old, like, penny loafers. Like, those really. Bro, I got a pair of Nikes. Every, not these, but every time I put them on, it's like, I wish I had a shoehorn. They are so, they're high tops and they're so goddamn hard to put on. Yes. It's like one of those places where I go to somebody's house and they're like, oh, we actually take our shoes off. And I go, I get that if I'm wearing Vans, but these, no, I'm sorry. I'm leaving. I, I'll put a Swiffer on the bottom of my feet and walk around. I, I'm i a big no shoe guy at my house. I'll mm -hmm. take my shoes off my front door. Oh, well, I we knew that. I don't make, pe hilarious. I don't make people do it though. I feel like a little, uh, if they well, ask me, I'm like, do whatever you want, man. I generally don't wear shoes, but I don't, I don't want to be like, yeah, but yeah, if they see you taking shoes off and then they're going to take their shoes off. Where do you put your shoes? In front of the door. I, that's why people ask because I usually walk in and there's- In the door or outside of the door? 
in like uh you open in, the door and they're there yeah gotcha yeah, yeah so people i think how many pairs of shoes do you have like total or at the door oh yeah by the door because um, you don't keep them all there it's just like whatever you're wearing that day what well what happens is i i just accumulate them because yeah, i wear different yeah, shoes and all of a sudden there's like five pairs and oh, they're like on yeah. top of each other grud is eating one i'm like fuck and then i take them and then i have zero yeah. but I, I i accumulate it is interesting to walk in somebody's house and see a graveyard of shoes that's yeah. the first thing you see yeah it's, it's like well look at the artwork yeah, because because yeah, you're because when you open my door and there's a lot of shoes, you damn near trip over the shoes. It's, yeah, it's a little, it's a, it's a not a good inviting scenario. Yeah, but then you feel like a dick if you don't see the shoes and you're wearing shoes and everybody else doesn't have shoes on. You're like, oh, did I don't I miss the memo. I don't like when people tell me to take my shoes off. It just, I don't know. I just wh why like let me live my life. One person with shoes on is gonna fuck your feng shui up. Could maybe I mean, but you ever been in somebody's house where the carpet's so clean? You, you, you get nervous? That's when I'll do it. You got carpet? Yeah. I'm on board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because a carpet, putting your feet on like a nice carpet is like putting, or putting your shoes on a nice carpet is like putting your shoes on like someone's like it's couch. Like, sure. Yeah, I don't know. Carpet's crazy. Like like white carpet looks so clean. Like it looks fire. Like it, But it's just so hard to keep true yourself. Why would, you, why would you get white carpet? It I, looks tight. That's some Rick Ross shit. Yeah, I think so personally. I mean, I would rather get marble. Marble is my all-time favorite. After I heard French Montana tiptoeing on the, your marble floor, hilarious. Why are you tiptoeing? Yeah, is it cold? Well, yeah, also, like, are you trying to be quiet? You're a rapper. Nobody's quiet at a rapper's house. No, the only Got time someone's tiptoeing on my marble floor. What happens to the, all the, the, the people at the rapper's house when the rapper takes a nap? What are they doing? I, that's when they're tiptoeing because the dude is paying all their salaries. I don't even sleep. think so. Oh, you think they're still wild if, the, if fucking Rick Ross is asleep? Uh, yeah, There's no know. way. Yeah, I guess. They're playing ping pong all soft. They're playing with pillows instead of paddles. Yeah. They're just fucking. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you do as a rapper. You just. Yeah, I guess I'd be pissed if, if I lived there. As a rapper, I also don't think you nap. Do you? you no, you nap when you're dead. That's what they always say. I sleep well, when I'm dead. No, you don't. You, you sleep. Yeah. You you have to sleep. Yeah. You'll die. I think, I think you got about two days and then you die. There are days where I wish I could just be like, how do I just fast forward in the morning? I don't want to go to sleep. Um, yeah, that happened to me yesterday. Do you know why? Uh, because I was super tired. Do you know why I was super tired? This is where I'm going. Having sex. I took, no, wish. Uh, no. Actually, I don't wish what I'm about to say. I'd rather be doing, I'd uh -oh. rather have done that than sex. I took mushrooms for the first time. What? How yeah. did we not start with that? I don't know. Wait, you took mushrooms? I took mushrooms well, for the first time. Take take a few steps back here. All Magic right. mushrooms. I've been wanting to do this for what a while. What happened? Yesterday? I did them, uh, we, uh, I did them, uh. Motherfucker doesn't even know what time zone he's in. I'm trying. Are we on mountain time? Where <laughs> are we? <laughs> does Mushroom time, Mike. Does time matter though? If you think about it, oh, dude. This is, okay, this is not out of your lane very much at all. So walk me through this. Yeah. It, today is Monday. Today is Monday. I took them on Saturday. Saturday? Yes. What time? About 2 p.m. Okay. Because I was, well, I did so much. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I don't, yes. I don't really do drugs. The only drug I've ever done was weed, a little bit of Adderall, but I've never done anything else. And I'm like, dude, I need to see God. Okay. Someone help me. And church is too claustrophobic. It's very hot. In is God at church? Uh, a nice one, yeah. Uh, yeah, a nice one. A nice church, yeah. Because yeah. he's not going. You ever seen like a small Depends church? Depends on the wine you're serving. You know, if it's uh, Trader Joe's, two buck chuck, the Lord ain't there. No. The Lord on vacation. He wants that shit from like 1807, the stuff that like Abraham Lincoln the was drinking well, the during the Gettysburg Address. Yeah. Yes. The shit that Jesus was sipping. He's like, son, give me that goddamn wine. What you if Jesus me? made shit wine? What if he's like water to wine and people taste it? Like, what is this but shit? But people would still like it because like, think about PBR. There's people who are disgusted by PBR, but there's also people who have PBR tattooed on their forehead being like, I love Paps Blue Ribbon. So somebody would be like, it's actually Jesus's wine. So like, it's, it's like, it's an acquired taste, you know? It's like kombucha. Yeah. Do you, you like what kombucha? You com, com, is it kombucha? Because if it's not, it should be kombucha. Kombucha? That's if kombucha? we- Kombucha? Kombucha? I don't, I, yeah, you put a lot of emphasis on the cum part. So uh, I don't really know how to say it, but if kombucha, I don't know how to kombucha. say words, I just say you, you real just, fast. You just, you real quick, you don't know how to say it, you just go <clears throat> silver like, and that's it. That's like, and the people saying. know exactly what yeah, 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 exactly. Um, do you like? P I don't, I don't, I don't think PBR is bad. I think people because it's inexpensive. People yeah. are like, trash. Yeah, it's fine. I like it. I don't like when bars try to like uh, like glorify it and be like, yeah, we're a cool bar. You can get you know thirty dollars shot of whiskey, or you can be a cool man get a tall can of PBR, fifteen bucks. It's no. like vintage. Is this the first PBR ever made? Does anyone fuck in those bars? 
You ever? Because we know when we say this, we know what, exactly what type of bar it is, yeah. and it just it just seems like a bunch of dudes that are divorced and like one woman in the corner playing darts, and she doesn't have an arm. <laughs> like, who's fucking here? Uh, no one. Maybe I don't know, man. I think every, I mean everywhere and everything. Everybody's fucking, you know. Like, yeah, like yeah. The, like the lady that handed you your food at In and Out, getting her shit clapped after after. You know that. what's odd is when she I think getting a double double motherfucker. God damn, you know shit. What, you know what's odd when I think of it. Uh, when I think of my therapist getting fucked. Wow. Yeah, because she's like helping me through my life, but also taking dick. Oh yeah, like man. from her dentist husband. Just is fucking, her husband a dentist? Something like that. Why do dentists have the highest suicide rate? Isn't that a thing? I didn't know. Dude, really? It is. Yeah. De- well, because I mean, yeah, because nobody talks back to them. But like, how's your day going? Like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, I think um, uh, dentists don't get really any respect. If you're a surgeon, you're like a fighter pilot. If you're a dentist, people are like, what are you? A yeah. fucking community service dentist? Like no one, I don't think anyone respects dentists. Yeah. Is there, it's also like you have celebrity, I don't know if there's celebrity dentists, or, but there's celebrity I barbers. So. I think there's celebrity dentists because all those fucking Actually, rappers there and is. shit, that yeah, they, they, they always, get those pearly whites or whatever. Well that and they also like shout them out. They're like, shout out Dr. fucking Teeth and Shine. And it's just like some like six year old dude on Instagram be like, yeah, with like 100K followers. But he has the whitest teeth, and like that doesn't. And he has like just really, really tan skin, white teeth. You're like this, none of this looks real. Yeah, exactly. Who's, who said okay to this? Yeah, he looks like a vanilla Oreo. Um, uh, Gabe, did you did you find out why dentists? Uh, I haven't jump found off out cliffs. Why yet? But I have confirmed that it's true. Eight percent. Eight percent for dentists. Yeah. So <clears> out <throat> of ten dentists, oh, point you know, eight of them, good job, are considering offing it. Well, well not even consider. I think they did. Uh, correct. If you were a dentist, how would you do it? Dental floss? Uh, Just in the corner? This is what I would do. Okay. I would take the... God, I don't even know. I would. I think I would just take a lot of gas. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of getting off the earth, I took shrooms! Okay. I took fucking shrooms, how, guys. Uh, okay, a lot of questions here. God damn. Ladies and gentlemen, big shout out to our first sponsor, New X CBD, dude. Their mission is to provide customers with the highest quality products at a reasonable price. So with years of experience in sourcing, manufacturing, and development, their goal is to make CBD accessible to the masses. They never sacrifice quality, and all of their products are natural, pure, and tested. Goddamn. Speaking of their products, they got everything from A to C to B to D, all right? We got the pre-roll they got freaking flowers dude huh? they have like one gram of pre-rolls that you can get they like got an eighth 3.5 grams uh which is pretty much like your flower that you can roll up to be your own pre-rolls they get, you can even like get it all packed up in like a king size cone if you want they got full spectrum <laughs> cbd flower fast acting usa grown hemp lab tested all get this under 10 bucks, which is perfect for people who want the instant benefits of CBD without getting high. Those who want to mix their CBD with cannabis to create a more mellow experience. If you want to, you know, throw that in there with a nice hybrid or an indica sativa, you really just mellow it out, all right? Ooh, ooh, and they also have so much other products that are freaking fire, yo. They have these shots, caffeinated shots, 150 milligrams of caffeine energy blend plus 30 milligrams of CBD. I've done them, you know how I love caffeine. I get hyped up in the morning. Woo! Easy to drink, two ounce bottles, mango flavored. Huh. Let's go! Non GMO and vegan, uh, made with full spectrum, US grown, hemp lab tested. Yo, people who want an alternative to coffee and energy drinks, drink these shots. I've done them, Trev done them, Gabe done them. We all get hyped up, ready to go. So, because you're a loyal Stiff Sox listener, we're gonna hook you up right meow, baby. Just go to newx.com, which is N U X.com. To purchase some of the great products, you can use our special discount code. Don't tell anybody. Socks. That special discount code socks for 20% off limited time offer. Get out there. Newx.com. N-U hyphen X.com. Socks. God damn. How much? Was it in a chocolate? How did you take it? Okay. Did you put it so, on pizza? So this is what I should have put it on pizza. That's a great idea. Well, people do all have, types of I shit. I should have talked to you before. Bro, you go into like some of these internet forums online. They'll, they'll they'll really break it down. They'll be like, you drink vitamin C after to enhance it. You put it on like a peanut butter toast because it does da 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 da. You fucking. So we didn't do any of that. I should have. I, I I did Who's a ton we? of. Who'd you do it with? I did it with my buddy, uh, with a, a fellow comedian, Neil Ghosh. Very I, funny yes. stand-up. Yeah, very funny stand-up guy. We've been talking about doing this for like literally three years. He's the very. He's somebody I'd want to do mushrooms with. Correct. A very, 
He has a very mushroom vibe. He's How, a, was that his first time doing it? It was his first time wow. doing it too. Yeah, 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 yeah. So just you two. Just me, just Nobody us two. supervising. Nobody supervising. We were clothes on or off? Off. All right. I wouldn't inform form you have to leave your clothes off, Wait, like Adam and Eve. Uh, yeah. It was Adam and Steve though. Hey. Hey. Um, Where'd you guys do it? We did it in uh, right by his place in Atwater Village. We found this like really secluded uh, kind of like field with like really cool like nature all around. There's fields in Los Angeles? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, dude, there's, there's so much nature in LA that we don't even think about. Yeah. Like we take like Runyon Canyon, like it's fucking beautiful. People are like, oh, it's the McDonald's of hikes, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, it's, it's gorgeous. Great. Yeah, It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, I um, love Los Angeles. Every time I'm just it, driving, I see one palm tree, I'm like, God damn, this is, this is worth it. It's you fucking, know? it's beautiful. So but there's so much nature. So uh, we were gonna, uh, yeah, go. No, 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 I was. I oh, was we were gonna go to, uh, you know, Lake Arrowhead or Big Big Bear or some cool, yeah. whatever, whatever. And then we're just like, what are we doing? Spend $600 on a fucking, for what? Let's just, let's just find a place. We live in LA, we can find a place. So we found this field, um, again, secluded, but, but beautiful. Um, and we just bought these like chocolates, these small little chocolates. With and it in it. No. Oh, okay. So we had like the the ste- the the fucking mushrooms, and we would we took like a handful and then ate the chocolate gotcha. with it. So because there are you can buy chocolate. A lot of people microdose with that. There's like mushroom yeah. chocolates. So what we did is we took we took uh, a lot of the forums say to take three grams of your first time. Three grams. I know that's a lot. I felt like it was a lot. So we took we took a little under two grams. Okay. So we had. Um, lemonade, like a full lemonade that was two grams total. Wait, huh? Yeah, there was a lemonade. Wow, wow, and then wait, we did wait, the seeds. Wait, wait, what? Oh, go. Wait, what do you mean lemonade in two grams? You buying grams of lemonade? No, no, no. Well, yeah, there's there's mushroom lemonade. So we took oh, it. In, oh, we, it, was it, it wasn't stems? Well, hold on. We took it in two different ways. We had, gotcha. the, we had the mushroom lemonade that was two grams total. And then we bought so it like. So infused with mushrooms. Like, like correct. a CBD or a THC drink. Yep, exactly. And then we had um, another Ziploc bag. Where'd full, you get all this? Full of mushrooms. He already had the lemonade. And then we purchased, um, or I purchased the 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 fucking actual mushroom was it hard to find um it wasn't as hard as i thought i literally we found them like the day of really yeah my neighbor How? my neighbor knew so it's so funny because i asked my because i know my neighbor kind of dabbles a little bit so i asked oh, him yeah you can tell if your neighbor does mushrooms or not oh you just yeah. hear didgeridoos at 4 a.m oh he lives next to me i hear all types of stuff it's like i know when he's didgeridooing i also know when he's doing a little cocaina because he's building furniture at four in the fucking morning nah, and i'm like hey it. let's not build an armoire uh, right now, yeah, I will get to sleep. I don't hate it. I don't hate it either. Oh, bro, I have such a funny uh, story about uh, m- my neighbors after this, but yeah, go ahead. Oh, well, we're already here. We'll get no, to no, it. No, no, no. Okay, so like this is the first time I've ever lived in like like a like an apartment like townhouse thing where yeah. I've been on the top floor. I've always been a bottom floor kind of guy my yep. whole life. You know, I'm you very, bottom ass bitch. Yeah, I, you know, I'm I'm not alpha. I'm very I'm very beta level apartments, right? So I've always been, uh, you know, at the bottom of the food chain here. And for the first <laughs> time, I've had a the up upper floor, right? And you don't realize how loud an apartment is until the night you sign the lease. When they're showing you the apartment, it's the quietest place ever. It's peaceful, birds are chirping, caterpillars are playing the harmonica, it's beautiful. (laughs) And then the first night, whatever it is, after you sign the lease, you're locked in for a year, the first night is when all the shit starts popping off. And you're like, God, oh, here we fucking go again. Yeah, it's like a New Orleans funeral parlor. You're like, <laughs> what? Why is there a full band? It sounds like somebody's trying to do the symphony for World War One, Two, and potentially Three, aka the year 2020. But uh, so I hear like my neighbors like super loud, and they always blast music. They blast music. Uh, like they watch movies super late at night, and then when the dude, I figured it out to a, a T. When when the dude showers. And the, he showers at like 7 a.m. and he blasts rock music. And mm-hmm. his shower window is connected. So it kind of seeps up through, out of his and into mine. Got it's it. like mine is like right on top of his essentially. Got it. And I hear almost every morning, right? But I'm a very polite upstairs neighbor, right? Even on my office chairs, I got like wheels that are like rollerblade wheels that are like, they're like soft rubber. Yeah. So when they roll, they don't make this yeah. shitty. First of all, office chairs, the wheels on that, what, what are those made out of? Get your life together. I mean, they don't even work out the box. No, and they and, look like they don't even want to be wheels. They're like, man, I want it to be a coaster. <laughs> what? What am I? Um, also, yeah, because it's always like four of them work and one of them never does, and one of them never touches the ground. It's like when you get a fucking car at the grocery store. How come one of the wheels always doesn't want to be but a you wheel? You know what's funny? The one that doesn't work at the grocery store is just spinning out of control. He's having a great time. He's just like, ah! That's how I felt like when I was on shrooms. I felt like the fourth wheel at the grocery oh, store we'll, we'll get that was like, second. let's I'm, go. I'm very excited to hear about it. Um, yeah. 
But yeah, just the wheels on on an essential office are so trash for no fucking reason. They don't want to be there. So I ordered these ones on Amazon. They were like, rubber and they're great. They're silent. You don't hear it. I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm a good upstairs neighbor. I'm not pissing anybody off. Yeah, yeah. And then the other day, uh, you know, and I've never said anything about this guy blasting music at 7.30 a.m. Because if you're listening to punk rock that early in the day, you have um, demons. You have demons inside your head. Yeah. And I've read too much online. And I watched a TikTok recently that was like, tell me how you know you're, you're somebody's a serial killer without telling me. And I was like, this trend is weird. And I don't want to know that I'm going to be a trend because of this guy down below. Yeah, he might right. be a dentist. No one knows. Uh, but you never know, man. So I was just like, you know what? Whatever. That's his own life. He's going through some shit. Maybe a breakup. Maybe he's just... Uh, fucking off the zans who knows so i don't say anything and then i'm jumping around with my cat the other day he's trying to make some stupid video just fucking around with my cat Got it. he's all wilding as he do be my hands make me look like i do the drugs i was just gonna ask you my that, hands dude. look like i do the drugs all right my hands look like i just i smoke diet pepsi cans it they looks like attach. you were doing an impression of a gorilla, but your hands are backwards in a bunch in a rose bush. That's what it looks like. It looks like you're just going like this in a fucking rose bush. Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting because the, the cat's just like like it's all fun again and scratch and whatever, but you don't see the scratch until like the next day. And then, yeah, they like harden up and then I'm typing. I'm like, God, I feel so shitty. I should be like, I'm on Google, but I need to be like typing like how to better my life. <laughs> um, but yeah, they look like shit. Anyway, so playing with the cat, jumping around, right, having a good time. And then out of, out of nowhere... I hear him hitting on his ceiling. No. He's like, he like, like, cause there's no other, there, there's no other way that he could do that without him standing up and like hitting the ceiling to be like, shut the fuck up. Oh my God. I lost my mind. Thank you. So you know what and I did? And then what happened? I'm furious right I now. I hit him with the Morris code. I said, bitch. And I went, yes, bop, you did. bop, bop, bop. And I did like three right after. He was like, bop, bop, yeah, bop. Yeah, yeah. And then like a couple of minutes go by and I was thinking about it. And I was like, no, fuck this guy. And then I just yeah. literally, like, you know when you're a kid and you see that first puddle of the winter? Yes. And you do the wind up and you do like the, the fucking, the two inch cannonball. Yep. I did that as hard as I could on the floor. And That's boom, hilarious. Fucking, it, it shook some shit. My oven was like, oh shit, what's yeah. going on? Your air fryer was like, hold up. My air fryer was like, put a finger in my ass. We getting freaky or what? Oh shit. But like, it was like to the point where like, you could hear the, the pans inside of the oven rattling. Yeah, good. Uh, he, fuck he, this guy. Yeah, no, I, he probably thought I dropped the fucking Miata on the ground, but it was so loud. I was heated. I'm pacing my apartment like what I do. I'm gonna fuck this guy up. Yeah, but, but I'm not. But you're pacing with frying pans on your feet. <laughs> clank, 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 clank. Only Doc Martens, right? So I was just, I was like enraged. I was like the motherfucking audacity. The I am, audacity. I am, I am you, enraged, dude. You, if this, yeah, you know me. That yeah. shit, because especially because you going out of your way. You bought, you bought fucking rollerblades wheels. for wheels. Overnighted them. Uh, overnighted him. I don't know. Oh, okay, well, whatever. Overnighted him. Borrowed somebody's Prime account. You it's know how it fine. Be. Whatever. But to go to that extent, because I didn't want to have them here like the. Yeah. That was my nails. Uh, <laughs> my bad. This motherfucker's playing Marilyn Manson at fucking seven a.m. showering. Dude, it is loud, and it wakes me up because it's like it's like a it's like a hum. You know, it's like, but you can yeah. like, and then it's like one of those where you're like a, when you're. How do you start your day like dude, that? Dude, I don't know. Is, I've, dude, I've never made eye contact with him once. The only time I've ever seen him, he was outside wearing a robe. And I was like, okay, there's two types of people that wear robes. People who kill people or people who are about to kill people. Yeah. Or if you're not at a hotel in a robe and outside, terrified. I think robes are weird just in general. I, at I don't, a hotel, I, I could see it maybe because you're like, whoa, a robe, fancy, nice. Coming it, you know? Yeah, but. But it's a it's a forced thing. Like you never you never go into a hotel. You look at a robe. You go, I'm gonna put that on. It's like oh, it's, it's, also, it's you, sort of like you're masquerading. But if you that's his home. That means yeah. he wears it. That means he bought it you and wears it do, consistently. It's hard to like. For me, I go to a hotel and I go. I need to get my money's worth. I'm gonna use every single thing they have here. That's oh, right. they that's, got fucking eucalyptus scented tea. Don't even like tea. I'm making it. I'm wearing this. Yeah. Because then they got to wash it. Blah, blah, yeah, blah. I open up the chamomile tea, you put it in a bathtub and just get in the fucking bathtub. I don't even. Chamomile tea Yeah, bath. I don't even get in the bath. I just Whatever. take a picture on my Snapchat and post it. Boom. Where my toes at? What's up? Um, oh. Hose? Hey. Uh, but. I hate this guy. That's the thing is I have beef with my neighbor. Good. But I've, I'm not a confrontational guy. So? Call like, me. Like, what's funny, it, yeah, there you go. What's <laughs> funny is, like, after it happened, I was so, like, enraged. My dumb fucking influencer YouTube dumbass brain was like, I'm gonna make a TikTok. And it was like, story time. And then I laid it all out. And um, I was just pretty much saying in that video, I was like, dude, I could be such a worse upstairs neighbor. I could yeah. be so bad. I have full on, like, a, like a bench press for, like, stuff that I could use in there, but mm -hmm. I don't. 
Because I'm just, I'm that considerate for this person. And then he hit me with the, bah, 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 for jumping around with my cat. You can't start it with bomp, bomp, bomp. You go to the fucking front door. You say, hey, man, nice to meet you. I'm fucking Ronald. I'm sorry I'm wearing a robe. That's I'm a lunatic. That's why I think this guy's a little... You got to be a little off if you're listening to Nirvana at 7.30 a.m. wearing a loofah, just fucking having scars because you're rubbing too hard. How do you... Just think about that. I start my day. I go, Alexa... Play peaceful piano Do you? because I know, yeah, because wow. I know I have inner demons and uh. I have to start my day on fucking on the ground. Dude. Nice little meditation, it's little fucked. yoga. If I started my day with Nirvana, I'll shoot up a school. This guy's insane. Hundred uh, percent, and that's what because if I was hearing Alicia Keys come out of his window, I'd be like, hey man. Here's some CBD brought to you by NewX.com. Use promo code. Just kidding. No, it's, <laughs> it's not, not because I think we're... <laughs> it is. Oh, shit. It's our new X. Oh, yeah. Uh, wow. Transition. Anyways, thanks for buying that. I would walk down the... Be so, because here's another... I, dude, I, honestly, TikTok has become my life, but I saw a video where... <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but there was the same thing where the neighbor's being loud and this girl wrote a handwritten note, went to the store, got a six pack, put it on the door and was like, hey, sorry, I can hear you. That's peaceful. My guess is, is this guy maybe was like either stressed out or in the middle of a Zoom call or was trying to record something where he needed dead silent audio and like kept fucking up and it was just like a rage thing. But gosh, shut the fuck up. Right. I've never come in contact with this guy. But to just start with the... That's... <clears throat> that's bitch, you don't work for LAPD. That's where I'm at. Cut the you shit. Can't, you can't start there. There was one time I was in Harlem and I was doing P90X. Nightmare of a neighbor thing to do. I understand. Yeah, that's pretty Nightmare. aggressive. Nightmare. I was also fucking 22. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I was yeah. just not respectful. Literally a full P90X. Like mm -hmm. literally jumping around. Just a nightmare. Having fucking barbells yeah. put in the ground. Stupid. Mm -hmm. My fault. Mm -hmm. But this woman comes to the door banging on the door yeah. fucking full out banging and she i open the door no hello she goes stop fucking doing that and i didn't i was like sweating i didn't even it was so crazy that i didn't even know what she was talking about i was like what what do you mean like i immediately went what do you, like in defense mode what do you mean and she's like there's fucking banging you need to stop and she just turned around actually she was wearing a robe she was like a 80 year old woman like just but an, like a grandma that's been through some shit so she was giving me that grandma tone, like she's yeah. like freshly Not making the lasagna. Not nice grandma, yeah. No. Oh, Yo, yeah, yeah. No. Grandma who, who ain't seen her family in 40 years. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Like she talks to her cats like her kids, like that type of fucking grandma. Um, turn around left. And I was so enraged, but it took me a full day to be like, Michael, you're doing P90X in a fucking apartment building. Like, yeah. you, you, there's, no, there's nothing else worse that you can do. Like how, how in your right mind can you yell back at this woman? But the whole idea is, and I'm getting back to what you're saying. It's like, you can't, like, I understand I was fucking up, but let's just, let's not start on a hundred. Maybe just come to the door and be like, hey, real quick, like you're, it's really loud in here. Like, yeah. what are you doing? Could you stop? Yeah. Not like you already told me a thousand times. And that's what I'm getting back to that thing. It's like, he didn't, he didn't already tell you six times to be quiet. No, it started no, no, no. crazy. Yeah. So it's like, I, I, I don't, I don't, I, I, that, that's why that makes me I, I enraged. Was, I was doing the classic, like, pace around the scenario thing in my head. I was yeah. like, man, if, if it comes to the door, it comes to the door. What, what tank top are you putting on? Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. You know what? Tank top shows too much arm. Put on a shirt that's a little more shrunken by the biceps. Really highlight your college features that you had, the biceps. You still got a little bit of definition there. That'll fucking take them down. But there was a segment that happened. College Trev was so huge, oh, dude. Oh, God. I fucking blew it all. Uh, you blew it all. Yeah. Dude. What, did I want a career or some shit? You idiot. Um, Boo! Get some uh, arms over a fucking TikTok career. Yeah, Jesus Christ. But I just remember sitting there being like, if he comes up to the door, I don't think I'll be able to keep my cool. This guy wakes me up. I would, no, no lie, three to four days a week, I hear music at 7.30 a.m. Yeah. It's not a great way to wake up. Because I like to wake up and then just like, I'm up and get out of bed. But if it's like if it's like fucking with me for like thirty minutes, because mm -hmm. the only blast while I was showering. That's how you know they're a shitty person. You know exactly what they're doing. Usually, if it's just loud, they're like, man, whatever. Maybe they got friends over. Yeah. I know we showering. I've known the, the what the songs are sometimes. Motherfucker blasting Alanis Morissette, huh? Alanis Morissette. First of all, bad. Young Alanis. <laughs> Young Alanis. Have you ever stopped to think her name was Atlantis? I, I don't think That's there's crazy. a. I don't think there's a T. 
Atlantis. Atlantis. What do I say? Atlantis. Atlantis. At what is her name? Atlantis is uh, Atlantis the Atlantis is under the, the, the sea, sea world. Yeah. Is that a real place? No. I don't believe so. I think there's a bunch of coral and, and some fucking idiot, colonial idiot was like, maybe that's a fucking... Bro, I went to a king casino in the Bahamas, Atlantis, though. That was tight. God damn. You ever been to the Bahamas? No. Oh, uh, I don't know. No. No. That was great. Fun. You, you ever been to places when you were a kid? You're like, I don't know. Maybe I went. Was all, whenever you're on vacation as a kid, I just want to leave my parents and be like, you know, you could have saved a couple hundred bucks. By leaving leave me, me home. home. Yeah. Leave me well, home. My parents not, would be like, do you remember when we went to uh, Kauai? You were two. Huh? My mom does that to me all the time. Oh, she, you remember your kindergarten teacher? Bitch, I was six. I remember my kindergarten teacher. No. Mrs. Etzel. <laughs> Mrs. Etzel? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she like, I think she like, I don't know. She had my sister and then she also had me. So it was like one of those. Well, that, okay. Then you talk about Mrs. Vessel a lot. Yeah, but it's like more so like vacations. My parents would be like, the big, I'll be like, damn, I'm going to on Texas. I'm going to, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm going to like Dallas. I've never been there before. And they're like, you've been there. Yeah, well, I was pregnant with you. I was six months. I had you. What? That's what she told me. My mom told me that I've been, doing I've that. been to Aruba because I was in her stomach. And then she had to. Uh, why are moms like, so mobile when they're pregnant? <laughs> Bitch, stay home. Oh, you'd be like, yeah, I've been to the attic. Yeah, I was pregnant. Yeah, why do you think I like yeah. feet? Bitch, you went to Six Flags. <laughs> <laughs> my, I got CTE in the yeah. womb. You're like, damn, those clouds look high. Yeah, I went skydiving when I was pregnant with you. Mom, just stay home. Have a key lime pie or some shit. Stay home, key lime pie. Disgusting. You like key lime pie, don't you? Uh, I don't, I don't. Okay, I don't. good, thank God. You know what's a drink? I always thought I like, huh? but I really don't. Whiskey sour. Uh, I think it's amazing, but sometimes it's, sometimes they put too much lemon in the sour. and it's The just, acid, this, this Yes, the acidity. Back. Yeah, acidity. It gets me. Alanis Morissette. There's no T. No T. So Alanis. what is it? Alanis. Alanis. Alanis? Yeah. I hate the name. Morissette? Yeah, Morissette. Morissette. Oh, hold on. Alanis? I'm... Mushrooms. So, yeah, that's all I was saying um, with... <laughs> no, I like the tangent. Very, very, very funny. But yeah, that's just where I was. Uh, just a very frustrating. Oh, yeah. What's up, Alanis? I told you the young one. <sighs> Fuck. You know why she's so hot? She looks like her mom. All right. I'm, I'm dead serious. I mean, everyone knows I'm dead Show serious. me a picture of your mom. I don't, God, I need to, it, how weird is it for me to ask my mom to take a picture of her when she was youthful what? and send it to me? Weird. Be like, yo. For research? Be like, mom, hypothetically, when you were my age, do we have the same figures? Send I, me a pic. I could get her. I, 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 honestly, I could literally just tell her. Not so explicitly, but I could be like, listen, you were beautiful as a, as a young, oh no, that's fucked up. I can't say as a younger, but it's getting weird. What do you mean? The words beautiful mom and young are all coming out at the same time. You have to understand (laughs) that like you. Okay. Have you ever seen pictures of your mom when she was younger? Yeah. Bad? She looks like my mom. No. She looks like my mom. No. I think she was a good looking lady. Oh, it all comes out. But but not like. uh, uh, Huh? What? (laughs) What, Mr. Wallace? Where are we going now? Your mom's hot. I knew it. Caught me. Caught me. I knew it. Downstairs neighbor. Fucking bitch. Yeah. Um, anyways, yes. But I, I think my mom aged very well. She looks great for her age, and she looks how she did when she was young. I think she. I think your mom's a, a beautiful woman. I think she aged great. I mean, I don't know what she... Put your guns away. I don't know... I don't, I don't know what she looked like when she was younger, but I think she's beautiful. God damn. Blue chew, get your dick hard. Hard. Hard, all right? Look, ladies and gentlemen, we are still in a pandemic, all right? But that doesn't mean you can't have a pandem dick. What does that mean? It doesn't have to stay inside all day. It can come out, all right? Yes. Put a mask on. That's a condom. Be smart, but be even smarter by using Blue Chew, a chewable tablet that enhances your penis strength and Density. You know what that means? Get your dick hard. Yeah. If you if you're coming out of the pandemic, meaning take your dick out of your pants and it kind of a little softy soft, that's why you take the tablet Blue Chew to get your dick hard like a Rockweiler. I don't know what that means, but it means it's fucking hard. And who doesn't want a hard dick? We all want hard dicks. And my favorite part about this is you don't have to go to a pharmacy for nope. this, but there are these are prescribed online by a pharmaceutical company. Thus. You don't have to go to like a CVS pharmacy and be like, hey, I need to uh, make my penis hard. It's like, nah, you just do it from the comfort of your own home. Which is nice. And it comes in discreet packaging. So it doesn't come in packages that say, trying to get your dick hard. It comes in this nice discreet, pa- nice discreet packaging. So your neighbors don't know they have a soft dick or you want a harder dick. Also, you know what my favorite part about this is? 
the greatest part is like on the second time, the first time you might have a hard dick, but the second time you're like, oh, my dick's only 60%. Well, this is going to help you try to get 100% dick on the second time. The respawn rate is great. Bro. Okay. The recoil rate. Boom. Respawn. Where am I? New map. We out here, baby. So you're ready to go. Round two, blow for blow, toe to toe. Look, I love toes. We know. Okay. So if you want to try out Blue Chew today, all you got to do is pay for the shipping. The tablet is free. It's free. Or your mattress is free. My dick is hard. Go to BlueChew.com. Use promo code SOCKS. All you got to do is pay $5 for shipping. Get it sent to you. Discreet to beat your meat. That's BlueChew.com. Promo code SOCKS to receive your first month free. God damn. I think your dad was actually a very attractive man as well. Really? Yeah. He's got like, I, yeah, <clears throat> I think so. Do you, have you seen pictures of a, a oh, young, yeah, young dad? A, my dad had a mullet and a mustache. Oh, true. He looked like a a Larry Johnson. He was a pitcher. And, Larry uh, Johnson. Larry Bird? No, he was okay. a pitcher. You mean Randy Johnson? Randy, Randy Johnson. Johnson. Oh. Your now, dad looked like Randy Johnson? There's like three famous uh, dudes named Johnson. Larry and Magic, right? Randy? Magic Johnson survived AIDS. Larry Johnson, white dude, shoot the goddamn lights at the gym. Randy Johnson throws like a hundred. Randy Johnson. Hundred, my dad, hundred looked, one my dad looked like Randy Johnson growing up. Okay. Randy Johnson was hot. Randy Johnson was also 6'10". Can mm. you imagine trying to fucking hit off a guy who, who's 6'10", throwing sidearm? I can't Fire. hit a fucking t-ball to begin with. I think you can. Yeah, you can do it. Okay. I, oh. think, I think you underplay your athleticism. There's certain sports I think you can play. Golf, if you, if you practice, I think you'd be good. Yeah. If tennis? I practice and drank, and I'm I'm a lot better at golf. Tennis, frustrating. Oh, dude. I like ping pong because it's you are good at ping pong. We played decent, yeah. I because you're more you can manage all of it in a wingspan. But tennis is too big. I gotta run. The hell's that all about? I'm taking tennis lessons. Uh, shout out to Christian who's giving me tennis lessons. He also listens to the podcast. Big shout out to him. Uh, in we were working on forehand last time. I literally got so angry. He was like, Michael. I can feel your frustration from over the net. He's like, you need to calm down. Like, he talked to me like I'm a- Do you like, get frustrated? Are you being serious? <laughs> oh, you're being serious. Oh, you're joking around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. I literally just bought a new a new racket that costs mon money money. I almost broke it. I was yeah. infuriated because last time he taught me, my forehand was fucking stroking a bitch. Top spin, yang, right over the goddamn net, yeah, feeling you've great. Been, you've been jerking off a lot, so it's was, it was strong. Dude, I've been, I have been. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. Bring it all home. Mushrooms. Uh, so, you both took. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. How we haven't even started no, we this mushroom even, talk. Yeah, we have. This even. is crazy. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, so Lemonade yeah. Go. And shrooms. So you have two. So, so, yes. so, so, so you're at the field. Yeah. Or, or you're like take them then go to. You're at the field. <clears throat> so we went to the field to to look to see if we felt good about the field before we took the mushroom. Because nightmare if we took the mushrooms, walked to the field, and then it's like. Uh, there's people over and fucking monkeys and bobcats and weird shit. So we're like, let's check out the field before we take the mushroom. We get to the field, we're like, oh, it's a beautiful place. Nice rolling hills. The the, the landscape's beautiful. Is there's this like is a, in Los Angeles? Yeah, dude. I actually want to take it. It, it was like I'm a- down, cause I've, been, I've, uh, I've never done mushrooms, but like this sounds like a place. Dude, I would, I would, I'm definitely going to do them again. And I would love to do it. We would have so much goddamn fun. Patreon. Pe bro. Yo. Bro, you think about I, I oh, holy right. okay, I'm getting excited. We're, we're, oh, jumping, we're so we're jumping ahead. So you're at the you're at the the grassy knolls. What is a knoll? Grassy a knoll, a little a hill. hill with little more hill. curves. All I know is uh, it's a were, hill with like a, like a little like a long longer little. No, ass. I think it's a, the grassy knoll. I think it's a, a, a like rolling hills with grass. But I don't know what a okay, knoll so, is. Uh, at the park. At the park. No, at the at the at, at the at the grassy knoll. Grassy knoll. We have the lemonade, which is two grams each. So we so at first we had the the, the stems, the, the tops and the stems, the actual mushrooms, mm -hmm. and we divided them up, and then we we had a fist, handful, whatever, and then ate the chocolate. How do they taste? Not bad at all with really? the chocolate, because the chocolate oh, was like chocolate. the chocolate was that the that square chocolate that's in like all the Trader Joe's or whatever. Not important, but it has the the caramel in it. So it was like it was oh, actually nice. pretty good. The That'd be my favorite part, dude. Yeah. The consistency was a little fucked because the mushrooms were in there, but yeah. it didn't taste bad at all. Mm -hmm. So we did that. <clears throat> excuse me, and then we drank half of the lemonade each. So then we had like it was like one point eight grams or some shit each, um, and then we just sat and waited, and it was like a good. I would say like an hour really of just kind of kicking it talking over before we start feeling anything 
Holy shit. When they kicked in for me, bro, I I literally started fucking around. I looked at him. I go, yo, we got to buckle up. And I started miming me putting a seatbelt on. And uh-huh. for some reason, that was the funniest guy. didn't think because he was yeah. hitting us at the same time. Oh, we, that's great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I was like, oh, time to fucking buckle up. And then we started just dying laughing at that. And then started like things started kind of swaying a little bit for me. And I couldn't look up because it kind of made me a little nauseous. Mm-hmm. But if I had stayed down, looked at him or on the ground, I was, everything was so goddamn funny. I found a stick and I had this very mushroom revelation where I go, yo. And Neil was like, what? I go, dude, a stick is nothing but a homeless tree. And that was like, first of all, the funniest thing in the world, because it's like this stick came from the tree. He wants to be in the tree. He doesn't want to be on the fucking ground. Mm. And then we just disrespect sticks all the time. And then I had this thought, I was like, yo, if I take this stick, is that stealing? Who owns this stick? Mm -hmm. Someone owns the stick. Well, even worse, we just take sticks and we go, throw it in the fire. Oh, fuck. Do we really? That's the life of a stick. We disrespect trees on a level that we don't even think. We see a tree and we carve our initials in it. Tom plus Sarah, fuck off. Fuck off, you just, it's my skin, you fuck. Yeah. I'm also, they provide us with oxygen. Shade. And you know how we, you know what we do? We cut them down. And you know what squirrels do? Fuck on them. Well, I think they enjoy that. It's not bad. Trees are used in so many different ways, very dis- disrespectful ways and very in nice ways. They provide shade. They provide us with fucking apples and oranges and all this shit. We disrespect them. Write our goddamn initials. We cut them down. We make books out of them. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So many make trees. money that- out of them. Then we don't give it them any of the money percentage back. Yeah, we just cut them down and sell. Jesus. We just disrespect trees on a fucking level. Yeah. Anyways, so we had like sticks and it was just like, it felt like our own personal like video game. It felt like we were in like a VR dome and it was just us in this VR dome. And like we would, we were talking about like, we were trying to like cycle, we not even trying to, we were psychoanalyzing each other's like lives, but through the lens of like mushrooms. So we were talking about just like, like my, like my like feelings of being like a man with like out of home, like feeling kind of distant from like both comedy scenes and kind of in this like weird like, in between phase of like my career and he was psychoanalyzing that and but it, it all felt it just all felt like this is such a mushroom thing but it all felt like through the lens of like love like mm-hmm. there was a lot of like empathy and love in both of our situations yeah well what i've heard is like you you take that and it's just like when you come back out of it you're just like you kind of like refresh because you like get everything off whatever you whatever anxiety has been weighing you down usually comes up and yeah. you kind of just it like it enhances it which could be scary, but it also is like a sense of you just getting it all out there. It definitely feel it definitely I definitely felt um lighter once I came down. But yeah, we got off everything. But it was interesting, man, because we would sit we, I mean, we were standing, but we were like have these long talks. For like an hour we would have these long talks about just like both of our whatever and just kind of different perspective of shit. And then I would like turn my head and then just go back into this like childlike like stage is the best way I can describe it because I was like just insanely playful like just on every level dude I was like playing with the fucking grat and just like just I felt like I was such a kid outside of like my interaction with him but as soon as I zoned back in with the interaction with him then it was like I was on this it was like different rides is the mm-hmm. best way I can describe it it this sounds I, if you've done mushrooms, I guess you know what I'm talking about. But yeah. it's, it's that old hack thing where you're like, I can't explain unless you've done it, man. Blah, blah, blah type of thing. But I kept having hack mushroom thoughts. And knowing that I've had, knowing that I am explaining hack mushroom thoughts, but being okay with it. Like, I had this moment where I was like, yo, we have arms. Mm-hmm. Like, it's odd. Like, we're a thing. And we have these fucking... And you move it without even... And we have... It. And we just flap it around and we take it for granted. We have these things... It's just like a, it's a weird, it's such a mushroomy thought mm-hmm. and I was self-aware enough to know that it was, but it's like the first time where you go, oh, all these like hack of mushroom thoughts like make sense t- to you. Yeah. Well, I think what you did, the best thing that I'm collecting from this so far is like you embraced it. You're like, here we go. Oh, it's kicking in. Strap on in. You're like, it's time. It's hitting. Because yeah. the last thing, every time I've talked to somebody about it is like, you got to make sure you're in a positive, like mental health like space yeah, and you're yeah. ready and you're accepting of it because that's the last thing you want to do is be like i don't know about this i'm kind of nervous but so it sounds like you're very accepting in it so so i mean how how long because i texted you 
at like eight or something, but I sent you something that it was like, that had nothing to do with shrooms. Were you like a person after a while? Were you functioning? Did you see anybody when you're out doing this? So yeah, so we, I was so scared to see other people because my neighbor kind of freaked me out. He's like, dude, you want to pick a place that's secluded. You don't want to talk to anyone else that's like not on the trip. It'll freak you out. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, now I'm fucking nervous. So mm -hmm. I tried to like, you know, I tried to, we, we tried to pick a place and no one else was there, but it's like a trail. So occasionally people would walk through and the first time someone walked through, I was kind of nervous to like engage with them, but it didn't, it didn't freak me out. It kind of, it kind of gave me like a different perspective on who they are. And, and like, there was a first, a woman with her dog came through and then she was nice. Hello. And walked by. And then Neil and I talked for like an hour about how this woman has her own, just her own path and her own life and her own. I think about that a lot. Yeah. So like every person you pass, no matter what you're doing, whether in, you're in fucking the drive through Jack in the Box or you're on a flight, the person next to you has, they have their own goals. They have their own passion. They have their own fucking people that they hate, their own bullies that they yeah. had growing up, their own people that they like love and this and that. And it's like, it's kind of crazy to think about it. It's also like, yes. And also, uh, they are the stars of their own movie. Mm -hmm. Like, think about that. Like, what we we experience life through through our own eyes, right? So it's like my experience. It, uh, I, I ex I'm experiencing you too. I'm experiencing the people watching the show through my eyes, and you're yeah. doing the same thing. But you're experiencing through your own movie. It's just, it's a, it's a really, it's I don't know. It's a really positive, cool thing to be like. Well, it's also it makes you want to like talk to other people and like figure out what somebody else's life is you know just out of curiosity yeah like a good conversation fuck a good natural conversation not like walking yeah. up to some stranger be like hey what's going on but like when you kind of just stumble into it and, and you're like but well, they're on a flight or you're like you got a the airport and there's like a layover and you like kind of get in some personal shit with somebody you're like fuck yeah i feel like we talked it out i learned a little bit about this person i'm gonna never see him again but yeah that was a moment we shared but that's also cool about meeting someone like that that you feel as though you're never going to see again because i feel like a lot more people i think both of us are pretty open with how we feel about things like because i mean you know we do this for a living and our job is essentially to be um self-aware about how we feel about everything but mm -hmm. a lot of people that's not what they do but i think if you meet someone that essentially under the guise of like you're never going to see each other again they are way more open to to just kind of like say their fears or their anxieties and so a conversation yeah. with a stranger kind of gets more kind of gets really like just it gets real because there's no there's no like barriers the mm. people don't have those barriers so i feel that versus uh, like the whole first date thing exactly like, so dude. when year did you graduate you're a capricorn that's so neat you still a capricorn no none of this matters none of it matters what do you do for a living i don't care put a fucking shirley temple in my ass where are we going after this yes so did you see shit on the trip or did you just feel a certain type of like giggly so i felt crazy like insanely giggly um i felt very like in tuned with uh, my own emotions towards myself, but also my my emotions like towards Neil and how I like felt about Neil and his experiences. I felt very like in tune, like not, uh, you know, if you're having a conversation, sometimes your brain goes like, fuck, I gotta get that TikTok up, blah, blah, blah. Like none of Still, that. Still like in the background? Yeah, yeah, there's no background. It's like you are fucking focused laser on. focused in That's with neat. what's, it, 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 was a, it, was, it was nice. Cause you know, we're always like, oh, we got to fucking do it. I got to email, blah, blah, blah. Even if you're having a conversation yeah, it's with somebody. From reality, yeah. It's terrible. But, but with this, you're like laser focused in. Um, I didn't see a, visuals a lot of people say like oh they, they you see i think if you would have taken an eighth you would have been seeing some shit right? yeah that's what that's but it's, what but it's what not like you said. see shit out of the sky like full-blown shit it's more so like the things you already see are enhanced like the trees waving or like the grass is like flowing that i did see that yeah i did see that the the colors are definitely brighter colors are enhanced. The, the, it's kind of like technicolor you ever seen like wizard of oz it doesn't what whatever uh, yeah, it, yeah yeah okay motherfucker ain't got no heart yeah <laughs> who's that the tin man you need to start a website saying uh, movie summaries by Trevor. Bro, like, Patreon, I'll do it right now. Yeah, fucking uh, did, King, bro, King Kong. Man, I like a giant gorilla. Behold on to the Empire State Building. Yeah, bro, Finding Nemo, just a dumbass kid who got lost from his parents at the grocery store, except the grocery store takes place under the, in, in the ocean. Bitch, find your dad. Period. Next movie. Who's Dory? Why is she the main She's star? She's so stupid. <laughs> I am Dory. You told me that 14 times, you dumb fish. Is Disney just capitalizing on people with Alzheimer's? Is that what Dory is? Fuck you, Dory. No, nah, actually, well, Dory's really generous. Nice. Um, 
but the only visuals I saw, like kind of the 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 grass, kind of it looked like the the ocean. And then when I was talking to Neil at some points, um, his there was like green on his face, like green blotches. Mm -hmm. But he was wearing like a green hoodie, so I think like it, my I I don't know, like my yeah, my yeah. brain was on some weird shit, so it kind of like moved the mm -hmm. green over. But I didn't see anything like insane, insane. Did you? have your phone with you or were you like i'm gonna turn this off I put it on airplane mode and just left it in my pocket okay smart the only thing that i needed my phone for when i turn it back on is because uh greta was having a walk from a service so i just needed and i've never used a service for with for her before so that's the only time i was like i need to check my oh, phone yeah, to make about little greta yes you would have brought that thing with you when you're taking shrooms little fucking <laughs> gg sprint through the field no you're like god damn that pterodactyl small as fuck <laughs> yo you dwarf ass pterodactyl um <laughs> okay, so how long did it kind of last for? Dude, it lasted from two to like eight p.m. We were in we were in the field for five hours. Uh huh. And did we you pee at all? Well, I peed once, and that's that was another funny thing that can I actually wrote a but a bunch of bits down because your brain thinks in a during it or during after? Okay. during because i would smart. just be like i gotta fucking whatever and uh but you were still functioning enough to be like you could make sense with your phone and write things down it makes sense enough like i yeah. i was aware enough where i was like this doesn't make sense i need to i need to make but sure you can i come back and look at it and be like that's what I'm. yes doing. i needed to word it in a way that i know i could come back and make sense of it mm -hmm. but that was another thing about the pee thing i was like dude how nice is your bladder because i had to pee the whole time right and i was like your bladder's so nice Mm. It's such a nice guy, because yeah. it always goes like, "Hey man, you you gotta you gotta pee." Yeah. Oh, no, it's okay. You don't have to pee yet. But hey man, but you gotta. And then you're just okay. But your asshole is like, fam, let's go. We got to shit. You don't feel like bladder is a little bit. Uh, no, I see what you're saying. You can hold bladder for a while. You can while hold it because it's but it's just nice. It's a, yeah. it's, it's sometimes it's annoying, but it's just it's like a poke. It's like, hey man, and then you go, I ain't gotta pee yet. And he goes, Oh no, my bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. your asshole. It if it's if it's guy it's your it's, asshole's an asshole. You true. Your asshole's like maybe that's where it comes from. But your asshole's yeah. like let's don't be such an asshole. It. Yeah. Yes. I had a real high thought go. about my bladder. I was like the, the main reason I got a cat over the pandemic because it's not like I'm full blown cats. I like dogs too, uh, but I just don't like. For me, I was like, man, I don't want to have to take a dog out and go pee all the time. It's right? annoying. It's, it's, it's so, so annoying. fucking annoying. It, it fucks up like the flow of like work. And you're trying to get shit done, 100%. and then it just, it breaks up your day too much a little bit for at least my workflow. Um, but you know, I was thinking it's like. Bro, your bladder's the same way. You got to take your bladder out to pee the same way you got to take a dog out to pee. Yep. But the way you say it sounds crazy. If you're like, instead of being like, hey, I'm going to go to the bathroom, I think everybody should be like, hey, I got to go take my dick out. It's, like, <laughs> it's, it's the like, same thing. It's like taking your dog out. Hey, I got to go take my dog out. Sounds normal. But if I go, if, but if I'm in the middle of a Chuck E. Cheese and go, hey, I got to take my dick out. Little weird. Hold on. Little weird. Question. But all I'm trying to say is okay. I'm going to the bathroom. I'm going yeah. to the bathroom. My dick, my bladder, they need to go to the bathroom. I need to go outside to pee. Yes. Well, not outside, but but I need to go inside to the restroom. It's also in the restroom. If you think about it, everybody dicks out. Odd. <laughs> yeah. You walk in the restroom, you go, hey, everyone's dicks Unless out. And they coke. go, yeah, everyone's dicks out. Yeah. Put your dicks away. What's yeah, happening? What do you mean put your dicks away? I don't know. But you walk into a room. It's the only room where you walk in and you go, hey, for sure everyone's dicks out. You're in a room. What's the difference? It's like the only difference is there's plumbing, but like in but the- But that's like an essential thing. What's an essential thing? The plumbing. Sh sure. But what I'm saying, in a high person's brain- Everybody's dicks is out? Yeah. It's just everyone's dicks out. Think about a urinal. Everyone's dicks, dicks out. out. Dude, I- Can you pee, can you pee at urinals? Yeah, but uh, we've already had this, but I have to hover. I have to damn near fuck the fuck urinal. Are, are you the guy that's like looking like you're like grinding am, on it? Grind on me. I'm in it. I have such a, uh, this is such I like wish a, I had middle urinal energy. I don't have Where it. there's three of them and then you go, I'm ah. going mid. I and if you want to pee, you got to pull up next to me. Bars. Title? Bars. Also, no. uh, I'm so not a middle urinal guy that I would rather make up a urinal in the corner where there's no urinal than be a middle urinal guy. Oh, yeah. Like I'll on purpose fake like I have a phone call not to do the middle one. You ever have a line and then there's three urinals and you're like next in line and the oh, middle guy like leaves? Oh, like a, like a Dodger game or Yep, and the middle guy leaves. you that giant trough and you're like, I'm waiting to shit. Waiting. I'll fucking wait. I can't pee in a trough, dude. I don't got trough dick energy, bro. Trough like, dick energy is you got to be at least 45. And or just a big ass wang. Well, that, but you just got like your, da your dad bod just kind of covers the dick. So there's yeah. just a lot of body flowing. 
Yeah, trough, trough dick energy is wild. Dude, I remember being a kid, pants all the way down. What was that about? Why do we always pee with our pants all the way down? Why don't I, I'm do, but can we? Can you do that as an adult? Yeah, you can go to prison. Really? I think if you're if you're 78 and above, you can do that. I've ran. I, I've walked yeah, into something. You're not picking up those those pants. They're just they're just staying on the ground. Well, dude, you have suspenders. That's why you have suspenders on. Suspenders are fucking hilarious. They're just they're like so funny. They're just like vertical belts. Just wear a belt. Why do you need suspenders? Well, I think when you get old, your whole body just starts to melt. So like your waist just becomes non-existent. So the belt kind of just falls down with it. Dude, an old person does look like a melty ass candle. Yeah. You ever seen a Yankee candle that's just like, you're like, oh, you need a new candle? That's an old person. Yeah. God damn. It's like the candle from uh, Beauty and the Beast. You know what's interesting? I saw it. No, you don't. No, you didn't. God damn. Ladies and gentlemen, big shout out to our last sponsor of the episode, Better Help. Is there something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals? Me, we were talking about my mushroom trip and me feeling as though I'm kind of like a man without a home and that is creating just a, a feeling of unhappiness. That's something I'm working on with my therapist. Um, so I, I mean, obviously I'm a big proponent of therapy, so I highly recommend this, this BetterHelp. And that's why BetterHelp is amazing. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. And not only that, you can start communicating with somebody in under 48 hours. And it's not a crisis line. It's not a self-help line, but it is a professional counseling done securely online. There's also a broad range of expertise available, which may not be locally available in your areas, which is great. You know, use the internet to your advantage. This service is available for clients worldwide. Call me Pitbull because we're worldwide. God damn. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor. You'll get a timely and thoughtful response. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. Facts, true, retweet. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they can make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. It's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. So visit BetterHelp. That's BetterHelp. B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com backslash socks. Join over a million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. In fact, so many people have done so by using BetterHelp that they are recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. Just to throw it out that this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and Stiff Socks listeners because of that get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com backslash socks. God damn. Um, you know what's interesting about Beauty and the Beast? You know that, you know that, uh, you know that Rose? Fuck, have you seen the movie? Yeah. Thank you. Have you? You son I've of seen, a bitch. I've seen it. Of course I've seen it. That's like an essential. There's some movies you're just born or already seen. Okay. Like, you know when you like get your phone and it's like, you motherfucking, the app Checkers is on it? Yeah. You're like, I didn't download this, but it's already on it. I feel like there's certain movies that you're just born already knowing. Titanic, there's a boat. Beauty and the Beast, there's bestiality. Like I know, like I know Shrek. The, is there bestiality? Do they fuck? Um, well, it's a little, it, it's he, a weird he, pitch. He used to be a prince. It's like, it's so funny because- Yo, Okay, but now- Because Belle, Belle needs to make out with a fucking monster for him to turn into a prince. So they are a proponent a weird of pitch. bestiality. Weird pitch. Yeah. There's sexual tension. Yeah, Between also- a woman and a beast. He does become hot as fuck. He's a hot ass prince. I'll yeah. tell you what. Um, uh, so the rose, you know how he has Who? a rose? There's a rose in Beauty and the Beast under that fucking glass thing and the petals fall off. All right. So you haven't seen it. Um, Does it is, isn't there- a, It's a, a huge theme. Is there a grandfather clock? Yeah. Okay. Would you, would you ever be, which, what character would you be? The motherfucking, the, the gold one with the candle. Or is it, or is it a, a teacup? Well, there's all of it. Really? Yep. Yeah. There's a little, there's a little teacup called Chip. Uh, and I then like the him. and the mom, the mom whole kettle. She's a whole kettle. She's uh, the mom. And then there's the uh, and there's the the fucking ha ha guy. Oh, with, that's that's a little clock guy. Ha-ha. Oh, I'd be him. I'd be him. You be the ha ha. Mm-hmm. Oh no, the candlestick's the ha ha. His luminaire, a luminary or some shit. I'd, I, whoever gets to go ha ha, because that's a funny thing to say. It's so goddamn. Let me funny. get a double double. Ha ha. You love In and Out. I just hungry. I'm starving. So hungry. Um. Rose, let me finish this talk. The, the, the rose thing, rose. he gets the rose, I don't know, from some fucking witch or some shit that puts a spell on him, and the rose petals keep falling off. And once there's no more rose petals, I think he dies, right? Some shit? I think he might be, oh no, the spell is forever. Yeah. Yeah. So he needs to make out with a girl before the rose petals all fall off, 
or he just be, he's the beast forever. Um, there's an odd thing because I we're both kind of superstitious. I used to have this plant in my house, and I got new plants, but I didn't want to throw the plant away because I felt bad. So I put the plant outside, and I I, I put some soil on, and I I planted it. I planted the plant outside, and I was like, bet. Every single time I go out, take Greta for a pee, I'm around that plant. And every single time I go, more fucking, uh, more uh, leaves fall off. And in my stupid, like, brain, I go, shit. Once that last thing falls off, I'm going to die. Weird? Uh, yeah. No, I think there's definitely superstitions like that. Yeah. I didn't. I never you wanted to wash my, if I had a good game, I never want to wash my uniform. I did not yeah. smell good. There's always, yeah, no, I got shit like that too. Um. Yeah, I'm super into that too. Cause like even I went to like the the have you ever been to the Fairfax like f like trade uh, yeah. on Sundays? Yep, that yep, shit? Yep. The fair Yeah, oh it's great. It's a lot of fun. But I, I got like this like little like candle there, but it's like it's not the one you light, it's just like more of a like a sculpture. Yeah. And it was like of a skull. I was like, Oh, that's kinda tight. Yeah. And then I like put it in my bathroom and then like something weird kinda happened. I heard a, no a voice or like a noise in my apartment. I was like, Oh no. Yeah. Did I bring the demons in? Yeah. I remember when you moved, you were like, Oh my god, video's all gonna be get zero views. <laughs> Oh, dude, yeah, exactly. There's yeah. something about like where I was like, I don't want to leave my, my old apartment because this apartment was good luck and all my best videos were here, yeah. you know, which superstitious like that. But real quick before we get into some sock talk, do you love me? Um, we used to determine, at least myself when I was younger, yeah. Yeah. if a girl liked me based on rose petals, she likes me, she likes me oh, not. Yeah. She likes me, she likes me not. Sad. Because guess what? She doesn't like you regardless. Damn. That's oh, your own me. shit. Well, I was, I was shooting, I was shooting high. Dude, was it rose petals? It was. Had, it was any had roses. Oh, I don't think it was any. But it, it was, was a, like sunflowers general. or some shit. Yeah, well, it could be whatever. Yeah, but so the sunflowers way too many flowers. You're like, God damn, bitch, fuck. <laughs> come on, hurry up. You ever, you ever not win and you just grab another one? I do uh, all the time. Yeah, I'm like, ah, it's broken, and I grab another one. Yeah. Ah, I or won. Or you like count ahead. You're like, okay, there's three left, and I'm on the she. She yeah, loves yeah. me not. Well, fuck. What nope. I need you love me you, not. You like pull half. Yep, dude, all the time. Um, um, finishing up your mushroom trip. Shrooms. Uh, got it was it was a it was a insane experience. One of the funniest experiences of my life. Uh, very transcendent. I didn't like. It wasn't one of those things where I was like, oh, I fucking learned my life, and I just I'm gonna go forth with a different idea of what nature and yeah, origami yeah, yeah. is, or whatever the fuck. Um, but it was it was a just a really really fun. Um, experience that I will 100% no do again. No, nah, man, no downsides. Wow. I, I was actually scared there was going to be a, a bad piece of it or whatever, or like uh, if, we, if we started talking about my insecurities, I would go in a dark place. But it wasn't like that at all. Like we we on purpose like started talking about our insecurities to try yeah. to like to try to like help each other through them or whatever. And there was no downside. It was just it was a very very positive. Yeah, the was I've heard people like they 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 like almost like schedule them. It's like instead of some people go to a fucking EDC or Coachella once a year to get, yeah. like, get that, just get it all out. But some people are like, yeah, every couple of months I do shrooms, just like reset. Did talking about insecurities and all that shit, do you, do you feel like it helped you? Like, do you take what you guys talked about then? And then like this morning, you're like, all right, you know what? We talked it out. I feel better. Or is it just kind of like, I did feel better. I had this like big theme that I said, you know, 15 minutes ago, whatever. I kind of like feeling like I'm a man without a home type thing. Um, and what do you mean? Like, you know, I've been out of the New York, comedy scene for a number of years now so i don't feel connected to that and i don't really feel connected to the la comedy scene like obviously people like know me but i don't feel like i don't feel very integrated into the scene uh -huh. so i just kind of feel like and i don't feel like i'm unsuccessful but i feel like i'm sort of floating gotcha. like and, and also like all the success of the show and and this and the the success of my socials and stuff has all been during the pandemic so i haven't had a feeling of like feeling any of it yeah, so i kind of yeah. feel like i'm just like floating. Yeah. Um, but so it was that theme, but a, a thing that I did learn and I, I didn't like seek it out and Neil just sort of told me, like you, you ever had these ideas where like, I wonder what people talk about, do people talk about me when I'm not there? And if they do, what, what are they saying? Oh yeah. And I didn't, I didn't ask him, he just like, he just told me and it was from a really positive place and it was just interesting to be like, oh, like people, I don't know how this is going to come up, but I'm like, oh, people do talk about me and people do talk about me in a very positive, uh, this guy's funny and that type of, that type of way. Where mm -hmm. like, you know, I, I don't know. Like I, I don't, I, you know, I don't know yeah, how people yeah, yeah. talk about me. So yeah. it was, uh, 
that was a very positive thing, and I think I will I will bring that um, outside of the mushroom trip. Yeah, man. I mean, it's hard to be hard on yourself, but yeah, think about all like the pandemic. You can't really do anything. Like the Fairfax thing that I went to yesterday was the first time in like months that wasn't a a, a stand up show related where I felt normal in the sense of like. It was a lot of people being like, yo, yeah. yo, yeah. yo, let's take a picture. Yo, are you this guy? And I was like, damn. Yeah. Cause usually the only time I, I leave my house is to do shows. Right. So like I'm doing shows with people who, you know, have found me and they know who I am. And it's like, you know, it's, it's like a kind of a core group that I know is going to be there. It's like, if I go to a show, these people love me. It makes sense. Cause I'm like, yeah. fuck yeah, we got this whole thing together. We're in this all together. But being out in the public, and somebody like comes up to me, I like forget. I'm like, oh shit, all right, hell yeah. Let's you know, yeah. fucking turn up. Yeah, yeah. But that was like the first time in a while. I was like, this feels normal. And yeah. I was like, ah oh, man. Cause I feel like sometimes all these videos I've been making during the pandemic are just kind of waste. Cause they've all just been clumped into one. It's like, ah, fucking yeah. pff, here it is. Yeah. But so it uh it, it was good to so you replenish the soul, I replenish the ego, you know? <laughs> you did it more spiritually, I did it more influencery. But at the end of the day, we're all sponsored by C B D. Ladies and gentlemen, New X C B D. Uh no, it was, it was great. I'm I'm glad you did that. Um and I and I'd definitely be down and we can Bro, we like for Patreon. We we for sure should do it. Like it it was a it was a it was a wild experience that I highly recommend. Um, if if you know once once we are in a good uh, like you know even to people listening like I just highly recommend that everyone just be in a good like uh, like positive space embrace for a, couple, it for a couple of weeks before and then and then embrace it exactly mm-hmm. that I think everyone have like a really positive experience but I'm I'm I am 100 down to do it again I had a great time and I've been this is a long time coming this is like three years of me being like I'm gonna do it and I just yeah. never have done it, so sick. Um, well. All right, Gabriel, shall we jump in a little fucking sighting? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, we got a question here from Yoya101. Hell yeah. And they say, uh, how do I tell my mans that I have a lot of experience without saying it so straightforward? Be like, I saw this shit in a magazine <clears throat> and suck them off. Give them the wop wop. It's actually a good point. Yeah, like all the Cosmo <clears throat> magazines have all the all right, crazy tips. Who's writing that? I, yeah, I don't they know. gotta post a picture. Of who's writing that? Post like a ten second sex tape. Realistically, there is so much porn. Yeah, that that's all you really need to say. You, you don't have to explain anything. Oh, that's also a better point. You don't gotta say anything. And if he asks, be like, "Oh, I was watching some porn." Watching some porn. Or, I, listen, I'm a human. I've been around the block once or twice. Sorry. I don't know what guy would be like. I think guys are, guys are honestly so dumb and horny that we would just be like, yo, she's so good at that. Like when when you get that sloppy toppy, that drippy droppy, that droopy sloppy. When that shit is drip dropping, when that shit is when drip that dropping, shit is you rain feel drop, your drop top, rain drop, drop top, but a bit of the bop up. My first thought isn't who taught you that. My first thought is, yeah, oh, fuck. There my, is no other other thought. My first thought is, Oh my God, how do I not come immediately? Yeah. I start thinking I about the yeah, back of my grandma's hands. There you go. Just Dude, weird think shit. Think about my fucking cat clawed Ew. up hands. Ew. You look like a do. gardener. Yeah, I really do. I don't like it. Got in a bar <laughs> fight with my garden. Um, yes. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, honestly, I don't think he'd ask. If he asks, I'll leave him. Anyways, next one. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if he asks and you tell him, like, listen, man, I, I'm an adult and I've, like. You just be like, we out here. And then keep going down. I, yo, but listen, gentlemen, if y'all have a problem with women, like, being experienced with the amount of, like, d- dudes that sh- that they've, like, been with, like. Stop being insecure. Get your fucking lives together, dude. We're all humans. We're all we're all out here fucking. Also, have more have more confidence, man. Because the more dude that she's been with, the more experienced she is, and then essentially the the better head or fucking that you're getting. So say thank you to the 418 dudes that she fucked beforehand. Give them all high fives. Fucking smell your fingers all together and enjoy the goddamn ride. Oh my god, she had sex with 400 guys. Good. Good. You want that good head or you want that stupid fucking schoolgirl? Blah, 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 blah. No one wants that. No one wants a fucking finding Nemo head. People want that. You know what's funny? I totally huh. tuned out for a second and then I just come Damn. in and you go, ha, ha. I was like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> I was finding Nemo head and I was like, yeah. What? Yeah, is that clownfish head? The little, the little, the little or, mouth oh, shit? Oh I, thought, oh, I thought it was because oceans be wet. I don't know what is. 
can't get girls well call with. Back. Call back. Bummer. Um, well, that that's the that's that's it for that. I mean, I don't know what is else. That, yeah, I don't, no, know what I don't, else I don't think you'll ask. I yeah. think you should be out here and be like, look, you want the pros, you you, you want the best of the best. You know, yeah, you I want to... whatever chef is in that kitchen who's been doing this for. I want Master Chef, that Master Chef Coochie. I don't want no goddamn kid cuisine. All right, give me the give me the goddamn Master Chef. Yeah, you want that fucking cordon bleu? Yeah. Or you want that fucking TV dinner? Yeah. Ain't nobody you want? want TV dinner, head? Yeah. Gordon Ram, let me see that goddamn Salt word. Salt Bay, my dick off. Salt Bay with a little bit of spit. Come on now. You, you Dan, you ever been Salt Bay by your own semen? Nope. All right, me either. I feel like you have. Title. Salt Bay, your have own you? semen? It's weird. Oh, I feel like I've Salt Bayed myself. I think that's just called coming on yourself. Yeah, but it's more artistic to say you Salt Bayed yourself. <laughs> No it. argument there. I don't hate it. <laughs> That's fair. All I don't right. hate it. <laughs> let's uh, let's get into secret stock. All right. Uh, we have a that anonymous. That wasn't secret. No. Well, if the guy listens, he's like, "Hold on, your name was just read out loud, and you, and you think I'm going to question it?" Well, anyway, that sounds like that problem. Next one. I don't think it's a problem. I think it's great. Uh, all right. This is secret sock. This is an anonymous submission that uh, wanted to tell you guys about uh, meeting their hookup. So they say. I'm writing this after my hookup just laid his fucking Thor's hammer on me. <laughs> Anyways, on. Who, the, uh, was that some some dude just dropped off dropped off dick? Yeah, he dropped off Thor's dick. hammer. Yeah, yeah, I mean Thor. You you label a dude's cockolus Thor's hammer? Don't let him hear that. His ego will be through the moon. Yeah. God. Damn. Uh, so she says, anyways, I live in Chicago and I take the train and I was high on the train and there's a stop called Sheridan and my high ass yelled out Sheridan on the train and this cute man looked at me and started laughing. Turns out he too listens to Stiff Socks. Stiff Socks do be getting people laid out here. What does hey! Thor's dick have to do with any of this? Well, that's the, I think this is the guy that dropped Thor's, Thor's hammer on her. This is how she met him. No. No, yeah. no, no, no. I, I think she was coming back from a dick appointment where she just on got- On the train. No, she's saying she's train. writing She's writing to us to say, to tell the story after this dude just laid down Thor's hammer on Wait, 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 hold on. She yelled Sheridan, the dude turned around and was like, podcast? Mm -hmm. And then he had Thor's hammer? Mm -hmm. Re read Fuck. it again, because yeah. it, so it sounds like so she was yeah. coming back from- That's what it sounds like to come me too. on her back. And was just like, yeah, I met a guy who also was in podcast. No, she says, so I'm writing this after my hookup just laid his fucking Thor's hammer on me. Anyways, I live in Chicago and I take the train and I was high on the train and yep. there's a stop called Sheridan. Yep. My high ass yelled out Sheridan on the train and this yep. cute man looked at me and started laughing. Turns out he too listens to Stiff Socks. Stiff Socks do be getting people laid out here. I think she's connecting oh. those two. Wow. That is. If this is true and we don't have it right and Gabe's right, write in, let us know. Dude, what that's the initial. That's unbelievable, though. If if we are framing it the way Gabe thinks it is, yeah. that's unbelievable. He said, "God damn!" When he came, and what also a lot of people don't know is, but every guy who listens to Stiff Socks has a hammer cock. Yeah, that's why I don't listen to it. Same. What? <laughs> <laughs> we both start crying. Uh, My but, dick is fine, by the way. It's fine. All right. <laughs> got the camera. This is, definitely says, sounds like a guy, says a guy with it, a yeah. micro cock. But I mean, he's not like small, small. It's fine. I mean, it depends. Like, how far are you? Are we zooming in on Google Maps? Like, you know, it's small on Google Maps, but in, in person, it's 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 all perspective. Personable. It's all perspective. Subjective. And objective. All the actives. Collective. <sighs> Monective. Erective. Damn, I'm trying to get erective. You ever have an erector set? You know Only what? virgins had erectile The stuff. funniest thing ever when your dick doesn't work is called erectile dysfunction. Yep. Dysfunction is hilarious. Why isn't it just called dick don't work? I think dysfunction, I think the layman terms for dysfunction is dick don't work. Like if you look at a dictionary. Erectile dysfunction, it just sounds like a dinosaur that went extinct. The All erectile dysfunction <laughs> was hit by a meteor. That meteor was a fireball, <laughs> a.k.a. whiskey, fireball. My dick works better when I'm drunk. Is that uh -huh. odd? My dick has a sip of whiskey and he's like, God damn, this is my two week paid vacation. I'm out. <laughs> Dude, I actually, I, after my shroom trip, I actually jerked off. All right. And it was incredible. Yeah. Like, I actually was like, oh, I don't even know if I'm gonna get hard. I like, I just saw Jesus. 
But apparently, my dick was like, hey, yo. Hey, yo. Let's go. These hands ain't the only thing coming up tonight. Prayer hands, oh, baby. Oh, shit. Yeah, it, it was a, yeah, I fucking, I showered that goddamn desktop. Salt bed? I saw it by the desktop. There we go. There it is. Saw it by the desktop. Title, probably not. Anyways, guys, <laughs> carry it on out as you usually do, Mr. Blaustein. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we really appreciate you uh, listening and supporting this show. Uh, we are fucking over two years in, and you guys have been with us the whole time. We really appreciate it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we want to show you an excerpt of the last Patreon exclusive episode where we interview my dad and we find out why I like feet and why I am how I am. Guys, enjoy the exclusive clip and mwah. It is my goddamn motherfucking dad, Mr. Too Fine Blaustein in the building. <laughs> Guys, meet my fucking dad. Wow, that was a great intro. Thank that you. was like Ladies Madison gentlemen, Square Garden. Very happy there. to be here, extremely what? happy, and a little nervous. Don't be nervous, don't be nervous. This I mean, is... I'd definitely be nervous. I, I, Michael is a, is an interesting boy, but he's a great boy. <laughs> he's had his moments over the years, trust me. Oh yeah. What, I mean like the time that the time that you had to rent a, uh, a, a, a an ambulance to take you from Ocean City back to Children's Hospital? Uh-oh. That was really a great moment. What now, happened there? You rented a hospital? You rented an ambulance? Hold on, what is this? Is it an Uber? That, well, when, when, you, when you had that meningitis, oh. and we went to the, you know, you went to meningitis, so we went to the beach for a week, and the doctor said it was okay. And the day after we get there, I rented the place for a week. Okay. Okay, so already gave him the money. The first night we were there, Michael, like, wigs out, um, you know, through no fault of his own. And we had to get him. And so that we take him to the hospital in Ocean City, Maryland. I had two choices, either let it either treat him there or get him back to Children's Hospital in Washington. Well, how do we get him there? So we had to rent a or I had to rent a uh, an ambulance and we took him back on a Sunday afternoon. And, and anybody who's done beach traffic on a Sunday from Ocean City, Maryland, back to D.C., it is fucking bumper to bumper for four hours. Yeah. So wait, what so is meningitis? The, yeah, I'm yeah. very stupid. Is meningitis, I thought that was like, I thought you were messing with it. Meningitis? No. Because I was thinking of uh, the stepbrothers when they see how Brennan has a mangina. I thought that was up the same alley. I thought- they, No, 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 this so, is serious shit. So, so my, Michael has a yeah. penis. So so I do I do have a penis. I do have a penis. What is meningitis? Meningitis, uh, uh, very simply, is uh, the lining of your brain Oh, well, fuck. Yeah, it was it was a fucking. Oh, I thought he was it's, talking. It was serious shit. shit. It, was oh. serious. No, it was serious shit. Hold it was on, serious is, shit. Do you think that's probably part of the reason? I mean, with the cocaine you fucked on when you made me, but also, do you think it's part of like uh, the the my weirdness that the lining of my brain just started to swell? You know, they say most of the shit that happens with kids comes from their parents. And if that's the case, then you've got bigger problems than meningitis. Yes, <laughs> yes, I agree. Okay. Dad? There you go. Michael's a question. Yes, sir. I got a goddamn question for you. We have so many questions, I just want to dive into this goddamn thing. Uh, so right. one, one, of, our, one okay. of our lovely fans, um, his name is Janald. He says, Michael's got a foot thing. What's your thing? What's your king? Oh, what's my... Well, first of all, I have to say, I don't know where you got this foot thing. Yeah. <laughs> Hold I mean, on. I, I will not cop to being any way, shape, or form responsible for you having a foot thing. So, hold on. You don't like feet at all. When you look at a foot, you're like average. No, he's normal. No, no. I, I'm, <laughs> when, it, when, it's, when, it, when it's got a problem, either like, you know, a bunion or, or bad nails or something like that, then it could be a negative. But I've never seen feet as a positive thing. I'm looking a little further north than that. So you've never got a foot job, not one time. Kneecaps is what he's talking about. Yeah, That's he likes the there you go. He's Kneecaps. looking at I'm a side man. He, he's looking at guy. the men in Thigh United. guy. Okay. I see you. <laughs> I'm on that same page right there. Thigh guy. So the feet thing. All right. So where do you think that spawned from? Did you have something? I, I don't know. I mean, I, I. Did you buy him a lot of sandals growing up and he was you, always looking at feet? He, You did buy me a bunch of shoes. We were in Foot Locker well, a lot. I've always been a shoe guy. Yeah. So maybe okay. that's what but I don't from. remember ever buying you, you know, sandals or, uh, you know, I mean, I was, I always like to walk barefoot, but no, I think, shit. I think that's, I think got, you started it. <laughs> Yo, dad, you got good feet. I've seen your feet. You have great, great toe symmetry. I have, I, ha- I have decent feet. Yeah. See? I don't have a, a camel toe or anything like that, but nope. I never really focused on it. I have, you got good feet. 
Wow, and, th- and that's, that means a lot problems. coming from him. Uh, well, thank you. That's like LeBron saying clips. you got a good layup. You know, like that's that yeah. means a lot. <laughs> So hold on. So you okay? So we we all know I got a foot thing. You don't really know where it came from, um, no. but uh, so what? So what's your thing, right? Everyone on the show knows I like feet. I like to fuck feet. Feet are great. Like the phalanges, right? Trevor likes the butts. He likes the boobs. Like a, a like quote unquote a normal person. What, no, what, I'm not a boob guy. I, I am a I am a tush and a leg man. Tush, and, dude. Yeah, right there with tush. you. Tush but and I'm a talking leg. about. I'm talking about. I mean, but I like. <clears throat> I like a tush that was considered a nice tush back in like the eighties. I love not this like tush. the tushes. Yeah. The ones that, you know, I, I like, I like the ones that are like small and taut and with, you know, nice legs coming down with a sort of a so separation not, in there. Not like the ones you see in music videos, not, not the, not the ones cheese. where you can like, yeah, which you can like put a, a baby on the back of your tush or as and French it can ride Montana, there. the rapper said you could park 10 Tahoe's on it. That's a, a yeah, exactly. No, that's not my, too many Tahoe's. That's not my <laughs> yeah. You, it's too many. First of all, you got 10 Tahoe's. You have to, you have to Sell fire some people. Them. Yeah. You got to fire some people. Yeah. Yeah. Or use it to get people to the airport or uh, the hospital. Or start it. like an Uber service. There's yeah, no fucking exactly. goddamn way. All right. So you, so you don't like big butts. We, we actually used to not dad. We used to not agree on butts. I used to like a bigger tush as you, as tush, as you say, um, but uh, but I've grown to to like more of like a volleyball, like field hockey butt. Volleyball ass is the best ass there Bro, is. Bro, thank you. And like the, the girl you dated at University of Maryland. Yeah, I forget her name. Yeah, she had a she was a little butt. bigger. She had a nice she had a butt. But nice she, she was a nice girl. She was a very nice girl. She was a very sweet girl. What happened to her? Yes. Broke my foot. Oh, was that the quarterback girl? Oh, yeah, it was. Oh, the quarterback swooped oh. in? Yeah, it was the quarterback. It was like, let me get what's on her back, you know? Yeah. And he fucked. Oh my god, I remember wow. that. That was uh, Michael. Michael. Yes, sir. You dump them. You dump them five or six times until they get smart, and then dump you, and mm-hmm. then you go manic. No, 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 no. Well, yeah, that well, sounds her, pretty on brand. <laughs> her, her was yeah. Her yeah. I didn't. I didn't want her until she didn't want me. And then once we right. finally got together, it lasted. That's for like how six, life works. Uh, why you always want. What, you always want what you can't have. So Absolutely. annoying. That was that girl in South Carolina too. The South Carolina girl is the exact same way. Yeah. Carolina girl got, got that good cornbread ass, you know, like Ooh. that that consistency. She had an ass too. She was a she was a uh she was Filipino. Yeah, she was a Filipino widow. With Filipino a, with an ass. That, that's that's a that's a wife right there. She had an ass and tits. Oh. Like tits. It's. I was like, hey. So she had the whole the whole nine yards. She had the whole nine yards, but she was the crackle barrel woman. If you if you oh. remember, we call it the herp skirt. She had too many yards. She had too many bumps. Too many speed bumps. Yeah. I was yeah. like, is this a pu- is this a <laughs> pussy or a braille? <laughs> well, <laughs> so let's get into some questions here. I think the favorite one that you said earlier that got passed over very quickly. Yeah. There was, there was cocaine involved. Oh, is, is right. This, We'll, well, yeah, we'll, we'll start. We'll start from the beginning, right? Yeah, let's. Yeah, before this guy was even on this planet, what's going on? Well, I'm just going <laughs> to say that I was under the influence. No, and just, say that it was in the '80s. Listen, okay, we, so I'm not. All, I'm not copping to anything. We all. So went, we're talking Advil, right? Motrin, Tylenol, yeah, Excedrin. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen. Go all on. right, but I mean, uh, let's just say that Michael's mom and I were not doing really well for about a year or two. So we sort of parked everything in the do not disturb zone. Um, So, you know, and then we were at my, my parents' house, Michael's grandparents' house for Thanksgiving. And we sort of got nice and buzzed. Oh boy. And uh, one thing led to another that night. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want the full episode, just go on patreon.com backslash stiff socks pod and only spend five dollars get four extra episodes a month and as i said before we have over 70 back catalog episodes that are available as well um new episode comes out every friday if you want that extra juice juice sign up uh-huh, do it